everybody, this is Zaxter99. I just picked this game up, Divinity Original Sin, on Steam. Actually, I bought this game on Kingwin.net. Um, trying that out, and I got it for about half price, about $21.60 uh, US dollars. It's right now, it's $39.99. I've been wanting this game for a while, and just now recently picked it up. Um... I've been doing pretty good with Kingwin.net. Purchased about four games, two games for my son and two games for me, and uh, so far, so good. This one wasn't even a key. Somebody actually sent it to me as a gift um, once I purchased it. So, you know, it's kind of hard to believe that this game would, uh, you know, be taken away or anything like that when it's sent as a gift. So, pretty cool. So, if you guys haven't checked out um, Kingwin.net, you might check that out. I don't know, you know, exactly how they do it, if they're buying games with stolen credit cards or what the deal is over there, but, you know, it's half the price for me, so that's all I'm looking at. People seem to think that, it, you know, it's a great service, so if you guys have any uh, knowledge about Kingwin.net or you have a history with there, a bad history, whatever, be sure you put that in the comments below. But this is going to be my first video <coughs> on Divinity Original Sin, depending on the response I get. Will depend on if I continue to show you my gameplay, but I plan on showing you the very first time I play this, kind of putting it on YouTube video and let you guys see what's up. All right, please create a profile to continue. All right, well, we'll just call it Zaxter99. If you received a Kickstarter backer code, no. Code cannot be entered or changed after creating a profile. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and turn the sound down a little bit. Hopefully we can do that. Uh, audio, here we go. Sound quality. I think the music is the biggest one we need to turn down. I want to leave some of this ambience get and stuff like that, fire. so... Guards! Guards! Get him! Get him! Oh, we'll try that. Turn it down a little bit. Apply and accept. Video. Okay, we get it on 1920. Frame cap, 60, ultra, all right. So it's all automatically done for me already. All right, let's go ahead and go back and go into a new game and see how this game plays. I haven't really watched any videos on this or anything like that either. I just read the review from GameStop or GameSpot. Uh, and it said it was a 90 out of 100, said it was kind of a refreshing RPG take back to the good old days. You know, when games were actually hard, you had to think about them and you know, the quests and stuff like that, you actually have to explore to get quests. You know, it's not going to be quests where, you know, your quests are given to somebody with a big explanation point over their head or something like that. You know, you get quests by exploring and talking to people and things like that. And I like that. You know, you kind of have to think of this game and every game could be a little bit different depending on your actions. And your actions uh, will change the way the game goes. So I kind of like that sounded like it was really good ever since I read that review in about mid-July, so I've been wanting this game for a couple of months. Let's go ahead and uh, go to new game here, though. We'll just go single player. And I believe that you start off with two characters, and you get to change their class or anything you want. We're going to try to make it interesting here. I'm sure that everybody starts with, like, a wizard and maybe a tank, like a warrior or something like that. And... If I can, I think I'm going to start with two weaker characters and see see how I do. If I can do that, if it'll let me do that. I'm thinking like a, maybe a wizard and a cleric type character. And then if we pick up a third character, you know, in our travels or whatever, maybe we'll make him be a, a uh, kind of a tank type guy. Right clicking while holding shift. Most people can kind of be interested in trading with you. Even a mere peasant might have something interesting to sell. Even if someone deserves it, murder in broad daylight is sure to bring the legion under your doorstep. Tame the elements, creating electricity on a water surface will electrify it and everyone on it. Wow. That's cool. 
Kind of a long load time here. You know, my pet pal allows you to speak to animals. The fight is getting the better of you, you can always flee and come back when you're more prepared. Page up and page down to zoom in and out. Couldn't you zoom in and out with a mouse wheel? I would think. Range of bows and crossbow seem unlimited, but it's from certain distance. Use V or middle mouse button to rotate the camera. All right. Haven't you got a name? Huh, let's, uh... We'll make her a wizard, but we're going to name her something else. We'll name her Clarissa. I don't know. Battle Mage, Cleric, there we go. All right. Witch. Wizard. We'll make her be a battle mage. Customize her. Attribute strength plus one, intelligence plus two, constitution. Determines how much vitality you have. Speed. Movement speed, initiative, and how many action points you use in combat. Sounds like that'd be pretty important. Starting skills. Weaken an enemy. 90% chance to set weakened status. Crushing fist. Can I change any of this at all? If I click on this. Feebling touch, skills and spells. Huh. Crushing fist. Four to four crushing damage. Eighty percent chance to knock down. I don't know a whole lot about this game, so I might just keep a lot of this stuff pretty default here. Um, points left. Strength. Let's take away one strength though and put it into intelligence. Maybe you would take away for one for speed. Well, I don't know. That's going to determine how many action points I get in combat. You know, let's make her even weaker, though. And add that to intelligence as well. I know intelligence is probably going to be pretty important for a battle mage. Talents. Opportunist gives you the ability to perform attacks of opportunity. What a rush. Increases your recovery and maximum hit points when health is below 30%. Zombie. Lets you heal from poison but causes damage from regular healing. Huh. know-it-all decreases everyone's attitude towards me so how NPCs I guess and stuff will interact with me by 20 but gives me an extra point of intelligence kind of tempting to try that there you immune to fear but you can no longer flee from combat bully an opportunist is you know what I'm going to change this out and I'm going to Make this boy. Let's see what. And what a rush. Increases your recovery maximum action points by two when your health is below 30%. Let's get rid of that too. Let's change a different one here. There's a lot of them here. Some of them I can't take, it looks like. Walk it off. Let's take thick skin. Gives me extra armor. Let's try that. All right, accept her, and alter your appearance. 
free spirit, priest, judge, maniac. Oh, we're gonna make her be a girl. Skin color. Oh, I don't really know what this matters. Careful! I've spotted a trap. Careful now. That's a trap. What could that have done? Careful. Hold. Ah, uh, careful now. That's a trap. Ah, a forge. Kind of like the rogue voice on that. Bread are welcome in equal measure. Uh, underwear one. That's funny. Could be a run around in underwear. You know what? That's pretty hot. We'll just make a run around in underwear. What do you say about that? Hair color. There we go. All right, Clarissa. Now we're gonna have instead of a tank, we're gonna try to be ballsy here and take a healer. Um, I know that's probably a dumb idea, but. And you know what? We're going to make both these characters be females. All right. We're going to go ahead and make her name be she Shiana. And she will be a cleric. Where is the cleric at? There we go. All right. Somebody to heal the wizard because Lord knows she's going to need it. She's going to be loyal. Look out. Ah, a forge. No, we want her to be a female. Yeah, baby. A whetstone. Quite better to death. What can I cook up today? Alright. Skin color. We'll make her be kind of brunette. Sure. Make her be a blonde. Yeah, we're going to have her be in underwear, too. There we go. Alright. Woohoo. All right, what do we have here for talents and everything? Anaconda increases your damage with crushing weapons, and I believe most clerics in most games do use, like, a hammer or something like that, so that might be a good one. Every time you hit or get hit, your gear has a 50% chance of not losing durability. Huh, that might be a good one. Enables you to talk to animals. Anything else that would help her two bonus to recover maximum action points. You know what? We're going to have her be able to detect tat traps and stuff like that. That sounds like a pretty good one to have. All right, we'll try that. She starts off with a... Melee, melee power stance. Improve the damage to melee attacks. Minor heal, heal nine vitality on target over three turns. Divine light decreases willpower in bodybuilding. And can I change that at all? Remove divine light, and now pick a different one. Cure wounds might be something a little better, I would think. Immediately heal on nearby target for 51 vitality. Dust Devil. Huh, let's see. Courage is... I already have that one, right? Crushing, nope. Crushing Fist wasn't... <coughs> Crushing Fist. Oh, it was my wizard that had Crushing Fist, I believe. So, Battering Ram. Rush forward in a straight line. Huh. I think we're going to go ahead and make her be all healer here. Power Stance. Prove damage of melee attacks. I'm going to change this as well. Probably shouldn't, but... I'm going to change this to something. Dust Devil. What does this do? 
spin around. Let's try this. Alright, so I got one attack and two basic heals with her. A dust devil for an attack, cure wounds. Target must be within three meters. You can choose up to three warrior skills and one man at arm skill. Okay. We're just going to accept her like that. And we're going to go into... Hey, where did my underwear... I thought I had him in underwear. Oh, hell. Um, yeah, why didn't we have... A... That's funny. Oh, that's just the kind of underwear we have. We have other armor as well. Okay, I thought we was going to be running around in underwear. Darn it. All right. We're going to go ahead and go with that and see what happens, guys. In the days of old, the sorcerers of Rivalon cured the sick and healed the wounded through a great power called Source. But a terrible darkness invaded the land, and Source was forever tainted. The sorcerers who once healed now only destroyed. And madness has overtaken them. A few brave source hunters are all that stand between Rivalon and the dark power that threatens to destroy it. Wherever source appears, hunters follow. Okay. Looks like we're on a ship. Larry and Studios presents. to investigate that murder of ancient. They say it's Source that did the counselor in. Source in a city like Sicil. Nowhere safe anymore. Here they are, Captain Sir. God's blessings on you, Hunters. You'll be happy to hear we've reached Sicil. But there's trouble offshore. So we'll have to sail in carefully. Here, have a look. Those are orc ships. They're blocking our passage. We'll get you as close to the city as we can, and drop you off at the beach. Be wary now. Orcs are on the attack. Undead have closed every route out, and there's a sorcerer on the loose. Uh -oh. In order to get justice for the counselor, you have to keep your wits about you. May the luck of the gods be with you both, source hunters. I got the story set up here. We're going to be surrounded by orcs and undead. Watch out for a sorcerer. Going to lay us starting on a beach, it sounds like. All right, I'm ready. Take my two hot girls and see what we can do. Can separate stack items by holding shift, dragging and dropping them. If skill costs too many action points, skip your turn. Your action points will transfer to your next turn. Hit the ground or surfaces with your weapon by holding control. Okay. You can fight alone, but you don't have to. All kinds of allies might be eager to join you. Skills get penalties or bonus based on your primary stats. The more powerful a skill is, teleport things, relocate enemies to harm allies, place explosive barrels close to your foes, and move out allies. Well, this game looks pretty deep. I like this. I don't know if this load time is just really high the first time I play it, or if it's going to be this bad every time I play it, or, or what the deal is. I mean, I just barely installed this game, so. Just bought it on Kingman.net, like I said, and plugged it into Steam, and accepted the gift from Kingman.net as a game, and installed it, and immediately started recording. So I have no experience whatsoever in this game, so. Might have already made a, made a big mistake by not making a tank to start off with. We'll see. 
All right, welcome to Divinity Original Sin. Click anywhere on the ground or hold the left mouse button continuously to begin exploring. All right. I usually don't like these click to move kind of games, especially in MMOs, but this one it might be all right. So that's my boat, okay. Looks like I don't really have a lot I can do except go this way. There's no way I can explore this rubble here or anything. If I didn't know there were orc ships raiding to the west, I'd mistake this for a placid beach. At least the orcs make a bit of noise when they attack. It's dark dealing sorcerers. That's an invalid target. Neither warning nor mercy. Okay, so I can't blow that up. Never mind. Alright. Zoom in and out with a mouse wheel. Okay, I think my blonde is my healer, yep. Both level one. I like that. Kind of zoom out here, make sure I don't miss anything important. What's this? Shell. What's that good for? Hide access your inventory. Uses three action points. So I get three action points if I use that. 200 gold. Equipped, I have a training sword. Hmm. Wonder why I wouldn't have my fire staff equipped. I guess because I do more damage with my slashing weapon. A couple of minor healing potions. Resurrect scroll, resurrect your dead alley. Ally. Uh, to 20% of its health. Okay. Fireball scroll. Scroll is a one-time use spell, so it's nothing I can learn or anything. All right, Clarissa. This would move to my other character, I guess. She also has a resurrect scroll, two healing potions, and 200 gold. So they each have 200 gold themselves. Okay. All right, let's go. Is that a corpse? What's it doing here alone? What, did you expect it to have an entourage? Huh, okay. Traveler's Journal. Open your inventory to read it. Rejoice! The statues have granted my wish. Their whimsical nature, however, must not be taken lightly. So before I soar through the sky like an eagle, I shall attempt a mere hop from the cliffs down at the beach. This should be a small feat for a man that can fly. If this experiment is successful, the sun shall be my next target. Well, evidently your experiment was not successful because you're dead, man. All right, click on characters that have explanation marks above their heads. This will initiate dialogue. Okay. Uh, I am, there we go. So cooperative dialogue, it allows you to role play discussions between the two main characters. Shanna says, can you believe this? The man jumped off a cliff to test some statues of all things. Clarissa could say, well, great deeds require the occasional leap of faith. I myself might have done the same. Or pure madness. How could someone be so utterly naive? I'm going to say that. Merlin is no stranger to the supernatural. He might have flown into the sunset and looked down at his cynics laughing. Romantic plus one. Pragmatic plus one. Huh. Okay, what's this? A rain scroll found a magic scroll with it, you can cast spells you haven't yet learned. Another shell. Alright, 
Let's go over here. Looks like I have some boxes maybe I can break. What's this? Can be used to create a sheet of paper. Okay. Another wooden crate, nothing in it. I don't know if that's random every time or if you always do the same things or, you know, I just have no idea. I would assume it's a little bit random. Uh oh. Curses upon them, source hunters. Secure the stone. I'll deal with these rats. Goddess, be with you, master. I got three people. All right. No, I know this is supposed to be turn-based. Rise, arise, drawn forth from blood. I bid you aid me. Uh oh. Casting some. Coming as turn-based to move, attack, or cast a spell. You need to use action points. Different actions have different cost. Your turn ends when you have no action points left. All right, my turn. This is Shayana, my healer. Okay. I don't need to heal yet. Dust Devil, spin around with six action points, but I'm probably not even going to hit him because I'm not close enough. Well, I guess we'll just attack. So all to highlight the objects that can be picked up. The higher your perception, the more objects you'll see. Okay. Two handed. Oh, I don't have any action points left? Uh, where does it say how many action points are left? Like I said, I... Okay. Oh, you just gotta go closer, okay. So... Looks like she's used a couple. Okay, so this is my mage. Burning touch. Let's try this. Move up there and she should be done. Okay. How? Ow. Okay. Let's try that whirling brush now that we're close to both of them. Dust Devil. Yeah, it shows the range here. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Their okay. Their leader said something about escaping with a stone. Stolen from this dungeon, I imagine. Can we get inside? Plate armor. Lieutenant. Anything else? Alt, hold alt down, it said. Oil, click, oil cap. Let's see the oil cap. Where was it? There we go. Two handed splitting mall. All right, get it, lady. Where the heck? All right, what am I doing here? Why am I not getting this mall? There it is, okay. I was gonna say I wasn't seeing it there. All right. So now I ought to be able to change this out. 
attack, five action points, requires eight strength, and she doesn't have eight strength. She only has seven. And she can't level anything up yet. She's still only level one. Okay, so that's why a lot of that is red. I can't use that. Plate armor requires eight strength. I can't use this, though. So we'll drag that up here. And I guess we're done. Alright, let's go up here and see if we can make it into this dungeon. Yep, and we're in a dungeon now. Alright guys, uh, I think this has been long enough for video number one, so I'm going to go ahead and stop right here before we go into this dungeon. And, you know, go ahead and leave me comments down below. Please give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you like this video, if you want to see more of it. Uh, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to me, go ahead and hit the upper right button to subscribe to me. You can do it real easy there. Uh, by go moving your cursor to the upper right as well, you can also easily leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down. That helps me out a lot. helps me know if you guys like the videos that I'm making, if you guys appreciate me uploading these and editing these and, you know, putting the, all these on YouTube for you. So... Uh, again, I'm completely brand new to this game, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing, so I just kind of plan on learning as I go, and I may die, you know, I probably will. Um, may have already made some bad choices already to start this game off, but we're just going to see how it goes. So, let me know what you guys think with the comments down below, though. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Zaxter99 with Divinity Original Sin, and I'll be back with video number two here. It'll be uploaded on my channel real soon. Thanks for watching.